see. He awake. Look at him eating. He alive. Yeah, look at him eating. Man. Look at him eating our food. Oh, he moving. Hey, don't put him by me. You little sucker. It pooped. I'm going to show Princess. So this is the famous or infamous tomato hornworm. We caught this sucker on our sun gold tomato. I thought these things would go for the bigger tomatoes, but I don't think they're really prejudiced. I, I think it's just any sweet, juicy, ripe tomato they'll make their living off of. So we bought it inside and kind of plated it for y'all guys to kind of get a good look at it. So this is the uh, horn part that they talk about. I don't know what it does. Have you found out what the horn part does? No. Because it's, I thought it, I thought it actually bowed itself into the tomato with the horn. That's why it was called the hornworm. But now we see that it actually, this back part where the horn is, is actually, I guess the tail, uh, it, it uses it or make or maybe lays eggs out of the back and we do have some footage of it actually laying the egg which was cool or using it whatever it was doing we don't really know but it looks the same color as the tomato so maybe it is like use it feces whatever they call it uh, tomato hornworm manure oh I bet that's Ooh, I bet that can grow some food, man. Some grow some belly. Uh, but look, let's let uh, Beverly got the grabber. And we want to show y'all how strong this thing is. It does not. I'm going to hold the stem and, and nice and gently. Don't smash it too bad. Uh, try to pull it away so they can see that. We're going to put it like this. Let me put it. Let me see how I can show them better. It has these arms everywhere I'm going to show y'all. You see all those little things are like they, it doesn't want to <laughs> let that vine go. I got it grab it ready to bring back in. Let's see. Let me give it back in focus. Give me a second. All right. Right there. Look at those little legs. Uh-oh. You better not try to get me, boy. So you see how those little arms are holding? And she's pulling on it. Don't pull too much now. And look at that. Wow. It's like little, it's like little suction cups. It's like, nope, nope. I ain't going nowhere. Until all of this is gone. Try it again. <clears throat> that was cool. It actually, that was like about four or six little legs. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And right back. Oh, it's getting mad now. Hold on, let me get it back right. Maybe it's trying to see what's going on now. Uh-oh. Oh, back it up. Hmm. So now it's gripping onto the tomato, which which is is look like it's uh overripe so we can easily pull it off of there but it has a it has one heck of a grip on on the vine itself so look at it now let's see what it wants to do I don't think it wants to go down anywhere on this little uh, pan it wants to stay on that vine as best it can I don't think it wants to like crawl on the grass but look at that Wow. And they say these things eat your leaves or your fruit. They don't care. It just, whatever this thing can get in its mouth. Wow. 
Look at those little suction cups. I don't know what it's looking for. When, when you have kids, you can kind of do this all day. <laughs> right, Shy? Yeah. Right, Fiona? Because they love watching this and I'm kind of, this is my first time actually. You know, you come outside and you see your tomatoes ate into, you see your leaves ate up and and you look for the culprit. I was watching uh, New Orleans Gardener, Miss Linda, and she was the same way. She was like, where is this thing that's, have, that's ate on my plant? And to actually see it, when you see the horn, uh, when you see the horn, you know, you don't, you don't even have to wonder about this particular pest. When you see the horn, you're like, wow, that's it. But you really don't know what the horn is for because it, it actually leads with its head. So I don't know what the horn is for, for protection, or does it develop into something as it develops into that, that butterfly or that moth? I really don't know. But it's something to behold up close and at a distance. So we're gonna keep playing with this. Uh, thank y'all for watching Louisiana Gardening Family. And he's ready to fight us now. We're not gonna play with it too much longer. Either we'll feed it to the chickens or we'll get all soft and free, and free this little baby because, it's, because it has allowed us to actually, and he's going back to, maybe he's back to eating. He's allowed us to film him like this. I mean, this is amazing. Wow. Right back to his spot. Right back to his spot. Look at him. Oh! I <laughs> know. Right back to his spot. My goodness. Eat. Eat. Look at him eat. He's comfortable right there. He's so comfortable right there, shy. Don't mess with him. Wow, he's exhausted. See ya.